Am I right? Michaels with the sharpshooter has become World Wrestling Federation champion and Bret Hart is standing in disbelief. Hitman was not the only one in disbelief. The King and I and all the thousands of fans around us knew something was not right in what had just gone down, especially when Vince McMahon showed up at ringside. A rarity in those days. And as the camera truck moved from shot to shot of the building confusion and anger, chaos, if you will, pun intended, Vince's former world champion, now living and aware of what just happened, spat in McMahon's face just before we went off the air. As Sean got out of there, there was bedlam on both sides of the curtain. This was the kind of decision they used to make in the territories when the owner felt the wrestler who was leaving wouldn't do business. He'd send in a legit tough guy, a shooter, to beat the departing champion to ensure his title stayed in the territory. But here, Hart McMahon had agreed that Brett would lose it before he left, just in a different place to a different guy. There was never any suggestion that Brett wouldn't do business, but the boss decided to screw him. As McMahon later put it, anyway, <laughs> he did. This was a decision so very rare that it reverberated around the business. Sean wasn't a legit tough guy, so a setup was devised instead. The fallout of which led to Brett legitimately knocking out Vince McMahon backstage for double-crossing him. And this is where the very real nature of professional wrestling intersected perfectly with its storytelling alter ego. On its face, there was a storyline being played out, but in reality, that storyline had very real effects on the whole business. It was the moment that gave rise to the Mr. McMahon character, a character that would help usher in the greatest error, in Jim Ross's opinion, that the company had ever seen. The Attitude Era, which, in my humble opinion, as I've stated previously in, on other shows here on Storytime, perhaps maybe the third golden era 